Welcome to my channel. A massive issue that has been plaguing multiplayer games for almost two decades now, as far as I can tell. I'm sure it goes a little further back in single player, but multiplayer primarily are duplication glitches. They wreck economies and they cause admins, server owners, developers to just pull their hair and try to put out fires as fast as they can. Some older examples would be RuneScape, EverQuest, Star Wars Galaxies, actually, and even modern new games like Bethesda's Fallout 76, which we all know has gone amazingly well. Now, the issue I want to bring up is Hytale's coming out, hopefully here really soon, next couple of months. And with it being a item-based progression, Duplication glitches could seriously harm servers. Not only their economy, but just in general. Now, I want to have a discussion about some of the basic types or classes of duplication glitches. The point of this video is not to teach you to find and exploit duplication glitches. The point of this is to have a discussion and try and figure out how beta testers can find these and developers can understand what not to do and what to look for without going into like too much depth. So what are some of the headaches that, you know, this can cause? Uh, cheaters can use it to break economies. I've seen this happen a lot. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's tragic and it, it it's just hurts the server. Uh, I'm primarily relating to Minecraft on this one as far as personal experience. But in the past, RuneScape, uh, all the others, they've had these issues. Now, what do I mean by classes of duplications? Now, I'm going to be using Minecraft for my examples here, mainly because I know that the best. I can pull examples very easily for this because there's been a long development history with many versions. And... As far as I can think of off the top of my head, and with a little bit of research, cover most of the categories of duplication glitches I have seen or can think of. So, what are these classes? First one would be world interactions. This one's a really early one, back from a beta 1.6, I think. The introduction of the pistons in Minecraft. And Kirshar, a classic video, used this in a very creative way to make what he called the Infinity Cannon. Using pistons set up in such a way that you get this world interaction that it duplicates blocks, in his case, TNT. And he was able to use that to make a really cool cannon. Now, also, it was used on some servers to duplicate stuff, wood, diamond blocks, all kinds of stuff like that. And... At the time, I don't think there were plugins or anything like that so much, but there was your standard economy of trading, and diamonds tend to be valuable and were used in such. And it broke servers. Now, this one is interesting because you have these in world mechanics that can cause problems when they run too fast or in unexpected ways. So, we need to keep an eye on whatever automation is done with uh, the high tail mechanics that I, I'm not sure what they're doing exactly, but there will be something, some sort of automation and any interactions with the world will need to be examined closely. Now, another classic one that uh, goes back uh, believe this example would be Minecraft 1.8, where you could duplicate a stack of items by a player interacting with an inventory. Now, this inventory, in this example, is a minecart chest. Push it into another portal, and right before it disappears while you're clicked into the inventory, you pull a stack of items using shift-click. You time it right. It's a timing problem, but this interaction would cause the chest to go through the portal and you take the items out of it, but on the other side of the portal, the items would still be there. So you doubled your stack. This was used a lot on 2B2T, an anarchy server if nobody's aware of it, but it was quite a common one. And 
also was used on many different servers. I can think of many examples because that's about the time I started playing Minecraft and I ran into this a couple of times. Now, another class would be inventory interacting with inventories. This is a classic one too that's been around in Minecraft for a very long time. Basically, you had two hoppers placed into each other and an item would be going back and forth. Now, if these hoppers were set up in such a way in the world and then stressed in certain ways, I'm just glossing over the details, look it up on YouTube, there's plenty of videos about it. I might even throw some links down below because this one's been pretty much patched in modern versions of Minecraft, as well as uh, Bucket, Spigot, your standard server, mo modded servers, are fixed this. And the item bouncing back and forth and chunks loading, unloading while the server was stressed would cause the item to duplicate. This actually was found, I believe, with... Uh, oh, what was his name? He did the hopper clock. Ethos hopper clock. And it kept duplicating items you'd put in it, and it would change the timing and break stuff. Like, I had this problem happen a lot back in the early days when I started messing with Redstone 1.8. And it, it was a problem all the way until, I believe, 1.11. I'll have to double-check that. But, um, yeah, like, we need to take a close look at how inventories interact with other inventories. Because there's going to be some sort of automation. We know that's going to come, and we need to examine that and check it and see what update orders happen, how the uh, inventories are saved and processed. Next, I would call this player interacting with crafting or other types of GUIs. Now, this example in Minecraft that I could think of for this one was the crafting dupe when uh, 1.12 came out, where people were able to spam click items in the uh, crafting book and cause items to get duplicated there were many variations on this as it is now patched um, but this caused a whole lot of problems including stacking items which were not supposed to be stacked in survival like uh, stacked swords stacked armor things like that and that caused a lot of problems uh, especially on servers because it was such an easy one to pull off you didn't need any setup or portals or eh, timing a bit, but once you got the hang of it, it was not hard to pull off. And that just broke a lot of server economies and made a lot of admins pull their hair out. And even several times, I remember the world getting uh, rolled back because somebody duplicated so much stuff because of shulkers being a thing and having shulker chests. Now, I say GUI because there are other examples of these, because I don't want it to just be the crafting book. That's the uh, GUI, yes. But let's look at, uh, what was the name of that? Let me pull this up here. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ah, yes, this was an Xbox 360 game, uh, Fonza Motorsports 2. Now, there was a way in the, uh, inventory or not the inventory but in the shop to sell upgrades that you didn't own for your car and take that money and spend it how you want it this is another example of it where you're interacting with a gui and using it in an unexpected way and causing duplication basically so all player interactions guis crafting recipes things like that really need to be scrutinized and tested now, this one was fortunately caught really quickly, but it was, it was so quick and so easy and so many people did so many videos about it that it was everywhere in a matter of a couple of days. All right, next one. Um, player interacts, interactions with mobs or NPCs. This has happened a lot over a lot of different games. The example I can think of in Minecraft would be the various sorts of donkey dupes. The one where if you pushed a donkey with half a heart into a portal set up in such a way that it would die overworld, but the items would still go through, and then a donkey would come out the other end. So you would double your items in that donkey. That one happened a lot, and there's a lot of variations on that. There was another one using nether portals. Um, 
also there was one uh i believe it was called the superposition using speed hacks and logging out in such a way you can cause an entity to duplicate and this was a big problem for a while that one actually lasted uh it was really a problem on a spigot based servers at paper too and it just had to deal with how the world saved what that npc where it was and how it was moving through the world in the case of the portals a it would duplicate the uh, entity one would die and drop the items the other one would go through not harmed and in the case of the superposition one you would ride an entity donkey usually also worked with llamas inventories and you could go so fast into unloaded chunks that the server wasn't sure where the entity was and when you logged out and logged back in you could duplicate the entity now that's glossing over it that was a, a fairly hard one to pull off but that one was really in interesting because it was relatively easy to set up you only needed a donkey and you could just start duplicating things now the last class i would say is player manipulates game saves I, I couldn't think of a good word for this class, but there's been a couple examples of these, like uh, Logout Dupe. The, I believe it was the 1111 Dupe, or that's what it's called. Basically, you would drop your items and then log out real quick and log back in in such a way that the items would drop, but your inventory would still have the items, so they would duplicate. And then there's the current one, the Chunk Dupe, where you would force a chunk to go into a state that couldn't be saved pull all the items you wanted to duplicate out and then reload the chunks or log in and log back out. And when that happened, that chunk would revert back to the previous state because it, you know, you made it so that chunk couldn't be saved by overloading it with, in this case, written books. And without going into the mechanics of how Minecraft saves chunks, you prevent that, you make that state so it can't save it, so it reverts back and you can just duplicate things. And this one is plaguing servers currently. Now, there has, it's been quasi patched, but a lot of people still have working methods. Don't ask me, I'm not telling, but there are methods that it still works and it's still a big problem. Uh, a buddy of mine uh, has been running around and using them quite a bit and funny, yes, but I can only imagine the absolute nightmare for the developer, for the uh, administration teams, and it's just the nightmare of it. And he, they had to roll back this world, even. And there are examples of this all over the community. Now, what that means is we need to take a look at how the world saves itself. Is there some way to make a unit or a chunk? Be able to not be saved and what is that limit how would you do that in survival also logging in and logging out and your how that player file is saved if you drop items and log out really quickly will that duplicate it these are things that need to be tested and thoroughly um, fixed if found which i'm sure there will be something i have yet to <clears throat> In most multiplayer games, even really well-developed uh, ones, there is some sort of exploit kicking around. There always is. And it needs to be found and dealt with quickly. Now, the problem with that is usually the people that find it are not beta testers. They're not actually a part of the uh, development teams or testers. It's just the problem of... <clears throat> A couple of players a small group and they will find this exploit and they will save it and not publish it and it will slowly spread and by the time actual server owners developers and admins find it it's too late it's everybody already knows about it and it's and people will try and put quick fixes on it and those quick fixes usually don't work well case in point the crafting dupe there were several attempts by spigot and paper 
to patch those, and they kind of worked. Uh, the chunk duplication glitch. There have been a couple of patches, specifically by paper, that managed to make it harder, but not completely stop it. It's just a matter of sometimes how the game say. This is a really hard one because the core way the game is saved and processed, if you could manipulate that, it's not something you can just put a Band-Aid on. It's a massive problem. And developers and beta testers really need to double check everything to do with how the world is saved. Well, thank you for joining me on this little mental excursion into uh, item duplication glitches. And I would love to hear your comments.